Hey, my name is Sarah Falbo. I'm a senior at American Military University. This introduction in lab is for Physics 133. I'm a senior at American Military, although I'm not in the military. Um, I have very few classes left to take before I am done. I am done with my bachelor's finally. Um, this is the last lab class I have to take. I'm taking this and chemistry simultaneously. So I hope I didn't just overload myself. I am currently in the waiting game to see if I'm accepted to grad school. Yay! I've applied to several PA schools and I've applied to Vanderbilt University for their master's program for North, uh, North, for um, nurse practitioner. So yay, go Vandy. I'm really, really, really hoping that Vanderbilt chooses me. It's awfully nerve-wracking. So anyway, um, those are my plans. If that don't work, then I'm just going to take the MCAT and go on into medical school because I'm not 18 years old anymore. It's time to get with it. Um, for lab one, let's see if you can see this. I'm not very tech savvy. Work with me here. There's my ramp. There's my markings. Let's see if you can see my sinker that hangs off the table. Here is my paper that catches when the marble falls off. And the sinker is to, let me get this back. Okay. The sinker, I wrote this down so I wouldn't look like a fool when I was doing this. And here I am still looking like a fool. So the sinker, I can't find my notes. So the sinker is supposed to be able to help you measure how far the drop is from the table to the floor. It's going to, um, when the marble rolls off the thing, it's gonna, you're gonna, it's just gonna help you figure out the velocity gained. You'll be able to measure it out. Um, and in the end with this one, the highest, um, the highest elevation is what gained the most velocity. Never taken a physics class before, so please have mercy on me with all this. You think I've never taken a class where you could upload a video before, but I have. I'm just not very tech savvy. So my ramp is at 42 degrees. My um, carbon paper is down there to measure where the marble lands, and it shows it helps you figure out the velocity gained. I've got my fishing line, my measuring tape. Um, my ramp looks different than what the directions had. I had to do my own measurements and figure this out at 42 degrees. Um, my lab kit came with everything that it said it was supposed to come with, so maybe I just did this wrong. But anyways, gosh. Here's all the 10,000 notes that I took for trying to get this right, and I hope I did. Physics is just, it's a whole other breed of animal. But anyways, I've worked through the, the lab several times and I feel like I'm pretty on par with hopefully what everybody else has done. Um, a lot of notes. I did not, I worked ahead a little bit. I did not realize how insignificant one sheet of paper was going to be for a physics problem. You really need several. But, um, let's see. Here's my marbles. Can you see them? There you go. All my marbles. So what else can I do to run this out for 45 seconds? I did the four trials which was a lot, it seemed like a lot with, I've got three kids and a whole bunch of pets and I've had to push them all out the door to be able to get this video done. And if it sounds like we got like a jug band in the back, it's my clanky dishwasher. We really, we're not doing band practice. Um, what else can I talk about here? I really hope I've done this right. I don't really, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. That sounds good. Hope that's believable. 
Thank you. This is for lab one. I'm Sarah Falbo. This is for physics 133. Thank you.